When do you take the time to daydream, to be creative? A daydream is a fantasy, a series of pleasant thoughts that you have while you're awake. It helps you to escape reality. In a society that emphasizes productivity, we are under constant pressure to do, achieve, produce, succeed. Let the mind wander, imagine. My project is about shadow. It is a silent beauty caused by uh, light and time. I went to India to do this special project. Uh, I find it quite interesting to uh, capture the shadow movement about uh, ancient architecture, uh, for example, like uh, palace, uh, cemetery, and temple. And I also did some in London as well. Mm, so please looking forward to see it. Thank you. Why do people choose to scar their bodies with tattoos? It used to be something for the few, a tattoo from prison, a military service symbol, a statement of belonging. Now it is for the masses. It is no longer original, but it is still meaningful. Why do people do it? It is love, art, rebellion, discovery, youth, a journey, regret. But overall, this is a part of who they are, saying, don't judge me. My project is about nuclear landscape. It's included the image of Sellafield, Plantagenes, and Chernobyl, and the landscape around the nuclear power plant. I wanted to show the contrast between the strange man-made structure and the beautiful surrounding nature. They are fragile yet beautiful environment. My series is a visual research on how the welfare system affects uh, the lifestyle of people that is uh, receiving social security helps. I have done this through two subjects, Liz and Dominique, um, analyzing uh, what their houses and uh, objects can tell us about their personality and circumstances, and also as an extended portrait of a society and a socio-political situation. Inspired by classic photographic practice and Russian poetry, my project, called About People and Courses, reflects my sensitive perception of the world, in which I try to conceptualize feelings of time, harmony, beauty, and deep emotional relationships. To a dreamer, a dream is as real as life is to the living. Sleep is outwardly a circumstance of non-activity, but on the mental plane, it is often the antithesis of stillness. My project explores the subconscious internal journey of dreams, and my images try to capture that integral motion in sleep which characterizes all dreams. All right, okay. So my project is initially inspired by the writings of Murakami Haruki, uh, my favorite Japanese author. His themes basically are about um, self-isolation, um, loneliness, and also how the, um, the people deal with the busyness of city life. And their characters are always, you know, um, being on their own. And I took this kind of theme into my work as a photographer. I look at different um, things in the city. So I walk around and I realize that actually buildings have their own kind of sadness and loneliness without when, when there are no people work, um, using them. For example, theme parks, um, ATM, and also cinemas, etc. I took a series of photos of those places that are empty. And I look into the contrast of um, having this busy city life and also this kind of um, self-isolation and loneliness that we can find almost everywhere in everyone's life. All right, last one. My work is called uh, Identity. Um, it's about defining people by who they are um, instead of defining them by their religion. Um, the portraits I did have different characters. 
each showing um, who they really are and what they want to be recognized for, um, showing their aspirations, hobbies and jobs. Um, and of course I'm displaying this series um, through my religion, Islam. Uh, that's why the characters are wearing uh, the traditional Islamic clothes and holding the Quran.